Sobel. Trying to be the best I can. I wanna be your hometown mobile yo, man. Yo, I'm going mobile in. Everything I do is for the cause. I'm going mobile in. I wish that I could win again. It sounds like I'm just wearing thin and I don't know where to begin. I'm mobile in. Trying to be your hometown mobile man. Hey guys, Matthew Blue Ridge Mobile Homes back on the scene live with you here for season two of The Mobile Men. Sam and I survived season one. It was crazy. Everything under the sun happened. Buying, selling, flipping, moving mobile homes. And boy, did we get our hands full. But we're back at it. Like I said, we survived. I think that should be the title of the season two. And we're here to do it all over again. So join us in this first episode of the next season as Sam and I are going to give you a quick, easy breakdown on how to tear down a mobile home, how to move a mobile home safely down the highway from point A to point B. All right, here we are pulling up to the site, and as you can see, progress is already underway. I want to point something out I noticed right away as I pulled up to the site, something a non-experienced mobiler might overlook. I, of course, noticed right away because of my bottomless and infinite knowledge of mobile homes. But look closely here, folks, and if you can catch it in the right light, you begin to notice half the home is missing. For those of you at home that did catch this detail, give yourself one mobile merit on your at-home mobile worksheet, and let's quickly move on. Okay, so the first process, guys, once you get the mobile home separated, like we see we've got one exposed half here, is to wrap it in plastic very tightly with furring strips nailed to the studs to make sure that it doesn't blow off in transport and to protect the mobile home while transporting the home. Then you can see here, you've got to put the proper identification, wide load signs on, and lights. Now you can see here, here's a good shot of the underside of the mobile home, where we've got to install wheels and axles each time to ready it for transport. Securing the wheels tightly is extremely important for, again, readying the mobile home to go down the highway. You can see here, a jack is sitting on timbers holding the I-beam up off of the ground so that we can install the wheels and axles. And I'm gonna have Sam here show you a little bit about that detail. Sam, give us a little rundown, buddy. All right, so we came down on the jack after we pumped up the wheels and the home kit didn't come down quite enough. You can see we got our jack stuck. We can only go up from here, so we gotta get this jack out by pumping up another jack with enough room for the hydraulics to come down to let us off of the other jack. So we're gonna pump this one up until the other one comes loose. Then bring this one down, we're on wheels and we're out of here. All right, now that you got the wheels and axles properly installed, Sam here is showing you how you must disassemble all of the concrete block piers and get them safely out of the way, keeping whatever you can for future mobile home transporting. Now you've got a clear underside view of the undercarriage of the mobile home without piers, with the wheels and axles on there, ready to then install the tongue. And I'm showing you a good front section and back side of the tongue here. That's how it attaches with the bolts from the underside of the carriage. Here you can see our low boy trailer loaded down with all of the mobile home transporting essentials. This thing is ready to go from the tie down augers to the plates to the blocks. Everything is loaded in. And now we've got a great si uh, view of our toter here. And it is a beast. Sam, uh, flipped the first one. <clears throat> Sorry, I missed that. Um, maybe that'll be another episode. You can see somebody on the top of the mobile home. That's usually always the case. In this case, pulling a limb up so we can get underneath the tree. And now we're ready to back the toter up to the mobile home and attach it to the tongue and get out of here. I'll let Sam tell you. I'm gonna try and swing this thing around. Get it out of here. Mobile. Trying to be the best I can. Mobile. I want to be. Backing it up to the mobile home with the University of Virginia just inches from the front. Well, it's, it's definitely 20 feet. Okay, now hold on and let's just rewind real quick. The last thing we did on the site, this was something I hadn't seen before during my, my absence. And if you hang around, I'll tell you about uh, what that was about too. But Sam said, hold on, I've got to grab the anchors. You see what that in the ground right there? That's a three-foot auger anchor. There's a bunch of them that hold the mobile home down. Well, when he got the chain out and said he was pulling them out with the truck, 
Man, I just started filming. I wanna be. I wanna be. More speed, I like that. A mobile. Man. Yes, that was awesome. Let's hop to its head. Yes, that was awesome. You tie the chain to the truck. The chain is tied to the anchor. Chain tied to the anchor. A three foot metal anchor. Auger metal anchor so in the ground. All right, this go is ahead. round two. Pay close attention. Sam. Oh, buddy. <laughs> this is why I love mobile. Anchor. Nope. Bones to do it harder, Sam. With the metal auger anchor in the ground three feet. Yeah, go on and show the folks. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Make sure the make sure the chain's nice and tight. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll work perfectly. That was scary as shit. Please. What happened? It was so fast. The chain broke and shattered your the resale value game. broke the resale value of the truck broke. well this was not without finale how did it get around there and it's around the tire excellent loading is always on the ground so, he yanked the anchor out with the chain and it slammed in the bed of your truck and wrapped around your axle. Can you confirm that? That's a confirmation. Trying to be your hometown mobile man. I'm just trying to be your Grind there in the gears. Yeah. Uh, well, I used to grind it like I was in seventh grade middle school dance, so that's how bad I used to grind this thing. That's why you can shift without the clutch. Yeah, I've got a little better. Sam, as we're taking the mobile merge here, can you remind some of the folks maybe one of the um, most brutal scenarios driving the mobile home? Like maybe it's merging. Kind of a rush. Is that much of a big deal? We drive this thing. And you got to think about it. I've got a home behind me, a home. It's a house, there's people living in there. Yeah. And we're just driving by, hitting some trees on the side, nothing we can do about it. So we're driving down and go up a real steep hill because Google Maps came in the wrong direction and I should have driven the property first, but I didn't. Uh, so we get up there and I That's tried classic. downshift and uh, I couldn't get the downshift in gear, so it stalled out. Battery's completely dead, didn't even get a beeping sound. No lights, no nothing. And then, not even a light to open the door with. And then the rain, uh, well, then we sat there for two and a half hours on a one lane road on a hill like this. And uh, finally we discovered that uh, my alternator wires were not tightened down after being replaced, brand new alternator. Battery wires were loose and starter wires were loose. Got them tightened, charged it right up, right on up the road. Paving work in the road, and I had to go to the right around them. And when I did, the back wheel, the wheels of the home, they fell into the culvert. So as I'm looking in my mirror, the back of the home is just sliding right, fishtailing right towards me as I'm going forward. I have to yank it across the road and pull forward, and the home gets tilted at about a 45 degree angle, and I pull it right off the uh, culvert. Luckily, I got past the cars that were stopped and was able to do that. It's a test. It was not mobile. Your mobile man tonight, just doing the best I can. I'm mobile in. I think I'll take a swim again. I'm in my mobile in. I'm in a way you have just in the beginning. And I want to stay with my mobile in. How you doing? Here at Blue Ridge Mobile Homes, 
As you can see, it's burning up around here with hot mobile home deals. So join me all week via email on our website, blueridgemobilehomes.com, as we come up with little jingles. Riding down that road, I'm your Blue Ridge Mobile Man, and I won't stop at nothing to put a mobile home in your hands. Well, I ain't got credit, but I know I can. Matt and Sam said that I'm a mobile man, so I just thought that I'd check it out. Now I just want to go to the mountain and shout. So I went on down and called Sam and Matt, now I own a mobile home now, how about that? See, next time they say that you can't, go on and show them Blue Ridge Dance. Riding down that road, I'm your Blue Ridge mobile man, and I won't stop at nothing to put a mobile home in your hands. Riding down that road, I'm your Blue Ridge mobile man, and I won't stop at nothing to put a mobile home in your hands. Riding down that road, I'm your Blue Ridge mobile man.